Okay, let's make our way to the flower dome. Wow, oh my gosh. Guess who's taking an allergy pill tonight? Me! on everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Shannon and I am attempting to go to 40 countries by the end of 2023 and welcome to country number 29 the beautiful small Southeast Asia country of Singapore I actually am only here on a 24 hour layover so I am going to show you all what I am doing with this 24 hours I flew in last night via the longest non-stop flight in the world 18 and a half hours from New York City if you haven't yet be sure to go follow me at go in class where that video will be posted all about business and first class flying and now I have 24 hours to hang out in Singapore this morning. It is about 9 a.m. and I wanted to start my day at Gardens by the Bay. This is one of the top things to do here in Singapore and it's been on my bucket list forever so I'm freaking out right now. I just got here. I used my rideshare app called Grab. It took about 10 minutes for my hotel. Not bad at all. So let's check out Gardens by the Bay. I do want to point out right over there, you can see the gorgeous Marina Bay Sands Resort. Definitely on my bucket list to stay there one day. I actually do have a couple things planned for today. So this morning I booked some tickets to the Cloud Experience in Flower Dome as well as the Skyway where I can walk above those like tree things that I showed you here in the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. I booked right on the Gardens by the Bay website and it was really easy and I have QR codes that I believe I just show once I get to those attractions. Look at how cute. Oh, okay. Bye. I think I'm gonna start my time at the cloud forest because I've heard that can get extremely busy during the day. So that's where I'm gonna head into and it's right near this main entrance here that I'm walking on. So this is what I did this morning. So I can skip the line and just go right in and they can uh, scan my QR code that I got emailed to me. All right, taking the escalator down. Oh boy, here we go. Ugh. I'm so excited. This is so beautiful and it's so cool that this has been on my bucket list forever and I'm here. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry like I did in Ireland. <laughs> okay, this place is ginormous, so we have a lot to check out. Where did we come in? I'm assuming right here. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we gotta uh, figure this out. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but it really is. Okay, but am I in Disney World? Animal Kingdom? Am I in Pandora right now? All right, I think I'm gonna start making my way up, and I bet it's gonna be incredible. started my journey on the cloud walk. This is so gorgeous. <laughs> Do you all see the size of those leaves? They are huge. <laughs> wow. This is so pretty. <laughs> so apparently you can fly a banshee. So I don't know. Let's go try it. There doesn't seem to be a weight. I'm not gonna be good because I only have one arm. So my banshee's gonna be like, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. Going to the left. Oh, see, this whole one arm thing is 
working out all right. I'm gonna go down. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to go down, buddy. Oh boy, okay, not that far down. Wow, I am really bad at this. What? This is so cool. <laughs> okay, this here is the treetop walk. Looks beautiful. finished up in the cloud forest and emptied out to a gift shop so I am going to show you all some of the things you can buy while you're here Let's make our way to the flower dome and you guys can tell it's very humid here in Singapore because my camera lens fogs up every time I'm outside. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. Guess who's taking an allergy pill tonight? Me! Okay, so I believe I'm heading into the Australia garden. Okay, here's the Australia garden. <laughs> this is so pretty. going into the bunny hole look at all the radishes the carrots <laughs> this is so cute oh hold on let me unzoom there we go oh so pretty I know I keep saying that but I'm seriously so glad this was one of the things I did with my time in Singapore okay so I spent about an hour and a half between the cloud forest and this flower dome now I'm going to make my way back outside and head to do the skywalk among those like tree thingies. <laughs> I do want to go ahead and timestamp it. It is 10:28 a.m. I got here as soon as they opened. Highly recommend that because I haven't had to deal with crowds much at all. And people keep saying that everyone's glad they came this morning to beat the masses of this afternoon. So definitely start here bright and early right away in the morning. While I'm making my way over to the skywalk, I do want to say be sure if you are new here, smash that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. Like I said, I'm going to 40 countries by the end of 20. 2023. Once I accomplish that, I have something else in store for you all that I am so excited to announce. Okay, so here I am heading into the super tree grove. So I will be up there very shortly. Does this shot get any more classic Singapore? I've got the super grove trees behind me at Gardens by the Bay. I've got Marina Bay Sands. This is Singapore. Look at the view you can see from up here as well. So really neat, the Queen Mary 2 ship is actually in port and if you guys haven't seen my video already, go check it out because I was on the Queen Mary 2 doing the transatlantic crossing from New York City to Southampton, England. So that's so cool to see the ship again and I can't believe it's been about eight months since I was on her. Wow, this is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie, a little terrified of heights, but this view is so worth it. This is amazing. So 
just something to be aware of. It is very hot here in Singapore. I am sweating. It is so humid. My hair is so frizzy, but don't worry because everybody else looks like this too. <laughs> so something else you can do if you'd like is the Super Tree Observatory. I didn't book tickets to this, but you get in right here and you go all the way to the top of this one over here and it's just an overlook. Personally, I wouldn't do both. I would choose either one or the other to get those amazing views. <laughs> food time. Okay, so I am finishing up here at Gardens by the Bay. It is incredible, must, must do when you are here. And I highly recommend the tours I did as well, or the extra ticketed items. Now, I am going to head to the Muslim quarter of Singapore called Kampong Glem. And I'm really excited to go here and see it because it looks beautiful in the pictures. Okay, welcome to the beautiful Kampong Glem. Again, this is the Arab quarter of Singapore. I really wanted to check this out and it is beautiful. I should have known better and waited to eat until I got over here because every restaurant, their menu looks so good. I love Middle Eastern food as well as Indian food. It is my favorite by far. I mean, like literally all of this looks so good. All day but it really is it's just amazing hello hi nice carpets <laughs> no thank you they're beautiful <laughs> wow magic carpets okay now this is where i probably should have waited to eat at aladdin turkish and lebanese cuisine i would have loved that Dang it. <laughs> so it is currently 1214 and I just looked it up. Call to prayer is going to be at 1223. So I'm going to hang out in this area until they do the call to prayer and hear that and get that on camera. This building back here is really unique. You can see the spiral staircases that go all the way up. Very interesting. So just a little note, this is called Busara Street and it's named after a place in Iraq. So that's pretty cool. It's been named that since 1910. Okay, so I hear the call to prayer, but unfortunately it's not very loud. I thought it would be a lot louder than it is. They're only playing it very small over the speakers over here. So I can't hear it that loud, but I wanted it to like resonate and like bounce off the streets because I think that would have been so beautiful. So yeah, I can't hear the call to prayer, but that's okay. I don't think you guys understand how hard it is to not walk away with one of these mini Persian rugs, aka magic carpets. I want one so bad, I may get one. <laughs> Okay, I temporarily made my way back to my hotel. It is so hot outside. I needed an AC break and I want to see what I want to do next. I think I might find like an indoor museum or something. So I got to do some research on that and then I'll meet you guys where I head to next. Okay, I kind of almost hit this wall and I was like, I gotta keep pushing through. I spent about 45 minutes in my room and I'm ready to head back out. I'm going to head to the National Museum of Singapore because it's one of the top things to do here and it's inside. So let's head to the museum. Okay, I have made it to the museum just in time because it just started to rain. So excellent timing, got my ticket, let's go explore. Okay, so unfortunately I wasn't able to record much in the museum, but I am so glad I went, must do. I learned so much about the Singapore history from when the British colonized it, well, took it over, <laughs> from when Japan took it over from World War II, when they just joined Malaysia to becoming their own independent country, to daily life in Singapore throughout all the years. It was so interesting. I spent about two hours in there, so it is now almost five o'clock. Not sure if I'm gonna go out again tonight. I'm feeling kind of tired now after a long, long day, but I do want to try and go out and do some of the street foods in Singapore or see like something at night, but we'll see if I make it <laughs> because I may not. And if I do not, I hope you all enjoyed this 24 hours in Singapore vlog. There's so much you can do here. Be sure to look up what you think you might wanna do because this city is filled with tons that I need to come back and do. I wanna go to the zoo. I wanna go to Marina Bay Sands. 
there's still a lot on my bucket list here in Singapore.